welcome to the sixth exercise guys and in this exercise we will be creating a prime checker okay so what is a prime number if you are already aware you can skip a few seconds so a prime number is a number that is only divisible by one in itself so two is a prime number three is a prime number four is not a prime number five is a prime number six is not a prime number and seven is also a prime number because seven is only divisible by one and by itself so if it has any other factors other than one in itself it is not a prime number so these are the python features that we will use we will take input from user and we will check if that input is a prime number or not using functions and we will use f strings now f strings is a very cool feature introduced in python 3.6 so wait around and find out and finally after we are done i will give you a task to optimize the program now we will talk about what it is in just a few seconds so let's create our program first now we will be combining functions and inputs that we have done in these previous exercises. So first, let's create a function and call it is prime. It will take, what will it take? It will take a number. Now, if the number is less than two, that means it's one or zero or whatever, we will return false. Because then it's not a false, it's not a prime number. And then else, what we do is, uh, we don't even need to write else because if it we have returned false here what will happen is our program will end but if it is not less than two we will continue and we will create a loop right i'll explain what the code does in just a minute so if the number is seven we are ranging our uh, loop from 2 to 7 that is first I will be 2 I will be then 3 I will then be 4 and it will continue till 10 sorry till 7 because our number is 7 and as mentioned in the previous exercises when we are calculating a range the last number here the second number here is skipped so uh, number plus 1 will be 8 and we will not include 8 it will run till i becomes 7 so we will check if our number is divisible by any of the i's that is ranging from 2 to 7 if f number modulus i equals 3 plus 2 0 now if we have followed the previous exercises you know that this means this is this will check the remainder so if the number divided by i equals 3 equals to 0 that means that if the remainder of this number being divided by any of i's becomes zero that means that it is divisible by anything other than itself so it is not a prime right okay that's another issue that, that i just figured out is if it is divisible by seven if the number is seven and it will also be divisible by seven right so this will become zero in that case also but then also we will return false so we do not need to add plus one so we will just check till six if our number is divisible by six so i'm just talking in case of if the number is seven that will work for everything right so if the number is divisible by anything other than itself we will return false and if it has not returned that means the loop has completed and it is still not returned false that means that we are outside here and we will just return true okay so now what we do is we check for user input we ask user input and we say enter the number here and the user input will be here now since we are calculating and we are doing mathematical operations and we are checking for integer here we will need to convert this into integer right so we will convert our user input to integer and finally we will check if it is, it is prime or not so we do if is prime that is if our number is prime what do we do we print now this is where f strings come in so f strings is a very cool way to substitute variables while writing the string so you write f here and then we write what do we want we want number right so you can just add two curly braces and write number in between and it will be replaced by the actual number that you as a user has entered when we are printing is prime and and else what do we do we print again f strings here curly braces number is not prime so this is a very cool way to create strings now let's try to run this
let's say five okay this thing five is trying now let's run this again now this time let's enter a random number i'm not sure let's say five six seven so five six seven is not prime because it is probably divisible by a lot of other st uh, stuff now let's try with something that we know is a prime is 19 a prime okay so 19 i think 19 is prime yeah 19 is a prime number this is how you can create it now one problem is when we do this if the number is let's say the number is 1 9 10 4 5 6 8 right so what will happen is this loop it will run for how many times it will run from for 1 9 8 7 8 5 6 times because it starts from 2 and i will continuously increase until it reaches this number so it will take a lot of time but when we are dividing what happens is if the number is not divisible by something that is this it's half so let's say it's half is seven eight, and this is an example so if this is half of the number and if this number is not divisible by the half anything up to half so if this number is not divisible by any number from one to this it's half it will definitely not be divisible by a number that is greater than this so for example if 10 is not divisible by 5 by any number up to 5 10 will definitely not be divisible by 6 7 8 or 9 or 10 sorry 8 or 9 if 12 is not divisible by any number up to 6 it will definitely not be divisible by 7 8 9 10 or 11 so we can reduce our loop here so that is how you can optimize it i'll leave it as a task to optimize this loop and if you have any questions let me know in the comments below